Um, I'm back today and I'm just showing you all my makeup routine. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not a beauty blogger, never have claimed to be. Um, I'm not good enough to be, but I'm just sharing with you all what works for me. I like seeing kind of behind the scenes of what other people do to get ready for their day or you know, that's my favorite way to find new products, maybe find a better way to do something I was doing before. So I just thought that I would share with you all what I do, um, just to give you a basis of where I'm at. I always put my hair up when I'm doing my makeup. I don't like feeling like it's in my face. Um, and I have already put on my skincare products for today. Uh, so I've cleaned my face, moisturized, put on my facial oil that I wear. So everything's done. Um, and I'm ready to start putting on my makeup. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you all what I do. My routine takes less than five minutes. I just can't justify spending more time than that on my makeup on a daily basis. You know, on a special occasion, it's different, but just for going to work or running on, around on the weekends, I just can't spend that much time. We have too much going on between our jobs, our businesses, the blog, it's just too much. So, um, like I said, this is just my quick and simple way of doing it every day. Uh, for starters, what I start with is this It Cosmetics CC Cream which I love and you can see the bottle is actually almost empty um, but I waited to do this until that was the case because I wanted you all to see how much I love it. I actually just bought a new bottle that's waiting to be opened. Um, I love this because it's not a full foundation so it doesn't feel like heavy on your face. It's just really light um, but it does have 50 SPF which I do like because I really want to do anything I can to prevent wrinkles and I am exposed to the sun sometimes when I'm working outside. So uh, I like that it just naturally is in this makeup and protects me without having to remember one more step to put on more sunscreen. So I start with that and I use this Sigma um, brush. It's the F80 Flat Kabuki brush. And I finally splurged and bought this from Nordstrom this year and I love it. I'm not a big proponent of spending a lot of money on makeup brushes but I'm okay with doing it for a foundation brush because I feel like if you use this and everything is looking good with your foundation then everything that goes on top of it's going to be okay and you won't have to use as expensive stuff it's just a good foundation for everything so I start with that brush and my CC cream and I put a large dab of the CC cream on my brush as you can see there, I just do two like quick pumps of that. And during the summer when I have a tan, I actually mix in Bare Minerals liquid bronzer with it. Um, it just gives you more color on your face, but I don't need that right now. So I start by just putting like a little bit all over my face. And then I just start blending that in. Um, and everybody has their own way of doing that. This is just what works for me. Um, I start with the bigger areas of my face, like my cheeks and chin. And then work into the smaller areas like around my nose. But you are supposed to blend out from your nose. I do know that. So I always make sure that I don't have any crazy streak marks. Finish up around my eyes and under. Um, I currently do not use a concealer. So I try to make sure I do get under my eyes and then under my chin. Um, I just like to do a little bit of blending so that you can't see like that line where your makeup stops and concealer is great I just it's one step. I don't really need very much um, Right now sometimes you know it's that time of the month or we've just been traveling a lot My skin is kind of off. Um, I may use it then but on a daily basis I don't use it so I'm not going to show you all that because this is just what I do day to day um, and then once I let this kind of soak in and dry for a minute um, I grab my bronzer, which I use Bare Minerals High Dive bronzer right now, and I do really like it, but like I said, it's not summer, so I don't want too much color because you don't want like white arms and a tan face. It kind of looks really weird, so I just do like a quick swish of my bronzer, and then I do a three on my face, so I start up here, curve around under my cheekbones, and then under my jaw, and do that on both sides. Um, just to get a little bit of color. Sometimes I might like pat myself on the nose with it, but that's it. Um, and then I grab my blush brush and my Bare Minerals blush. It's called The Secrets Out. I like it because it's pink, but it's not super dark. It shows up enough, so it's not like faded light, but it's not bright, bright pink. And then I just do like a quick little bit on each of my cheekbones. Um, I kind of have bigger cheeks, so I don't like to put too much blush because I don't want to make them look than they are um, and then once I have that done 
I use my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. I use the Oil Slick. And I've been using this for like six or seven years. It's my favorite. I've never found one that works better. It's cheap. It lasts forever. I've been using the same one for probably longer than you're supposed to keep them because it lasts so long. Um, and I do like that about it. So I just take that and do a little bit under each one of my eyes. And then a little bit on my top eye line. And I don't use eyeshadow on a daily basis. I just don't like the way it looks with the shape of my eyes. Um, I do use it sometimes on the weekends or um, if we're going to like a special occasion or something. But day to day, I don't. So then I would follow that up with my eyebrow pencil. And um, I just started using this one a little while ago. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. And um, I just take this and kind of do a little filling in. You know, just to darken them up a little bit and fill in where there's any gaps. Um, you can see on this, I actually fell and knocked myself unconscious on a bleacher in high school. Um, yay, let's see me. And so, I do like to be able to use this pencil just to fill that in a little bit. Um, it's never going to go away. And it's not like it's something that like embarrasses me or anything. But if I can just fill it in a little bit and make it look more uniform with my other eyebrow, it's, you know, just looks better. And then take the other end of the brush and just make sure everything's laying down right. Okay. And then once I'm done with that, pretty much all I have left is mascara. And I just started using this um, It Superhero Mascara. I really liked the CC cream of theirs, so I decided to give the mascara a try. Because I liked the one I was using before, but it dried out really fast. And so far, I really like this, so stay tuned if it lasts longer. But I just do a light coating on both sides of my upper lashes and then I hit the bottom okay and then after I give everything just a second to dry uh, especially the mascara I spritz Evian Facial Spray on my face. And if you all do not have this, buy some. I don't know what this, what is so special about it, but I swear it is amazing what it does for your makeup. Because I spray a little bit on um, and it sets my makeup for pretty much the entire day. And then like if I come home from work and then I have somewhere else I want to go, if I just spritz a little bit of this on my face and maybe touch up a little mascara and lip gloss, it looks pretty much how it did the morning um, when I left. So definitely recommend that. And I just do kind of a light misting of that over my face just to set it. And then I let that dry. And once that's done, I just normally top my makeup off with a little bit of lip gloss. I wear um, a little bit more lip color at night or on the weekends, but I work in a financial office, so I just don't really want anything too flashy during the day. And currently, I really like this NARS lip gloss. I think the color is Orgasm. Um, it's just like a nice light pink. And so I'll put just a little bit of that on for Sean. Um, but... I don't like a lot so it's just nice it gives me a little bit of shine on my lips and a little bit of color but it's nothing overkill so as you can see this is my daily makeup where I messed up a little bit there um, and it takes me less than five minutes super easy quick um, if you all have any suggestions on better stuff I could be using or want to share your makeup routines with me, I'd love to see it. Uh, like I said, I'm not a pro at this, but I just wanted to share with you all what I do use. I'm going to link all the products I talked about on my blog post today, so be sure to check that out. And just let me know if you all have any questions, and I hope you have a really great day.